reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his, dis his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You too, go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around, and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, You too, go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise My name is Father John Copson. I've been ordained a priest now for almost two whole months, so I'm a savvy veteran of the priesthood already. One indicator showing that God's really at work in my life is that before Mass, I'm not putting my chasuble on backwards anymore. So that's a really good thing. You know, in the gospel today, the Lord goes out and he's calling people to his vineyard. That's the whole point of this parable, is that the Lord is that landowner. He's going out, he's finding people to go and work in his vineyard. Well, what's our vineyard today? It's the world. What is our work? It's the new evangelization. What is the new evangelization? Well, it's going out and finding others and bringing them home to the Catholic Church. Who are the workers for this new work or this new evangelization? You should look at each other. My, myself too, but you should look at each other. I had the privilege for the last two summers as a seminarian and then as a deacon to be an intern at Holy Family Parish in Memphis. There's a Divine Mercy Missionary Center over there in Memphis. And let me tell you, we don't get many people knocking on our doors for assistance. It's a very, very small farming community. So after about six months of being open for business, I could tell that some of the people working there at the Divine Mercy Center, they were getting a little bit frustrated because nobody was coming to them. And so we started to pray about that. And it became pretty clear to me in prayer that nowhere in the gospel, besides Jesus, are people coming uh, to you. Sometimes the apostles, when they went out to minister, mostly they came to God. What does Jesus tell us time and time again in the gospel? We need to go out. We can't wait for them to come to us. Otherwise, we're going to be left disappointed. And like the gospel says today, we're going to be left being idle. We don't want the Lord to look at us and say, why are you being idle all day? So what does this work? How are we supposed to go out and evangelize? Well, the first step 
is to be evangelized ourselves. What does that mean? Well, it means we need to know our faith and we need to live our faith. We need to be in love with Jesus Christ. And once that happens, we can now go out and evangelize others. Because the whole point of evangelization is bringing other people into an encounter with Jesus Christ. That's at the heart of the new evangelization. So how do we do that? Well, that's where I'm stuck at my new parish in uh, Dearborn. I'm at Divine Child Parish. We're trying to get all these families who've stopped coming to Mass back to Mass. Well, how do we do that? Because anytime I preach, anytime I write a bulletin article, even if I feel like it's a great article and it's going to bring so many people back, they're not the ones reading it. They're not the ones hearing the preaching because they're not here. We need to go out to them. So how do we do that? Well, that's what we have to pray for. What is the Lord asking us to do? Up in um, Memphis at Holy Family, we started to pray, who needs us the most? And something beautiful that happened was that we felt called to go out to assisted uh, nursing homes because there were a lot of them in that community. And when we started to go out in small groups to these assisted living homes, we realized there were Catholics there, Catholics who haven't seen a priest in years and years and years. They were the ones being neglected, and we didn't even know it. They slipped through our fingers. And so we sent out the Divine Mercy people to them. I would go out to them. And before you knew it, it's the first time they've had confession in years. It's the first time they've received the Eucharist. And as others in the assisted living home saw how happy these people were to receive visits from us, they started to ask about the faith. And just two months ago, they had a man who was a fallen away Baptist, and he just came into the Catholic Church at 84 years old. Souls are being saved, but only if we go out to them. That's what the Lord is calling us to do. As we approach this Eucharist, brothers and sisters, let's ask the Lord, Lord, where are you sending me? How do you want me to serve you? And give me the strength to do that.